Hello viewers, hope you all are doing well. I'm back with a new uh, programming series. Uh, so in this series, we'll see how we can program Raspberry Pi uh, in Proteus. Uh, so let's first get introduced to Raspberry Pi, what it is and how you will be using it for. So it's basically a low cost credit card size computer. Uh, it's a complete computer so that uh, you can do all the steps you can do with the computer, you can do with it. Uh, you can do all the programming stuff. Um, you can learn programming in it. Uh, you can learn Java, Python, C++ codes. Uh, you can browse the internet. Uh, uh, everything you can do in a computer. You just need to plug in a monitor using the HDMI port, a keyboard and a mouse. And the most wonderful thing about this computer is uh, it needs only 5 volt to run. You can just plug in a 5 volt adapter to uh, operate this computer. Okay. Uh, now let's see uh, what are the advantages we can get it using it uh, over the Arduino. So the Arduino is mostly used in this case, uh, but uh, we, uh, using the Spirit Pi, you can uh, at the same time have a computer and an embedded device. You can use it as an embedded device also. And the advantages are it's uh, it runs on the ARM processor, which is more faster than the AVR processor of Arduino. It's almost 40 times faster. It is easy to program. You can program it easily using the uh, Python programming. And it has uh, all the necessary things built in. Uh, for, uh, in case of Arduino, you need a uh, uh, wireless shield to get access to the internet. But in this case, you have the uh, uh, wireless built in with the Raspberry Pi. Uh, you, uh, you can easily interface the USB devices. But in case of Arduino, you need a USB shield. Uh, if you have worked with audio devices with Arduino, then you may know that uh, how much uh, troubles you have to go through to get it working correctly. But uh, using the Raspberry Pi, you can easily interface audio and video devices. You can easily interface a camera. Uh, you can do more powerful stuff using the Raspberry Pi. Um, you can do image processing, uh, audio port processing easily and uh, uh, sensor actuator interface these are also uh, very simple to do with the raspberry pi and it's more sophisticated actually uh, compared to the arduino so now let's get into the programming uh, we have learned the basic differences and advantages of the raspberry pi in this case uh, we will be using uh, the uh, proteus software to uh, learn the programming you know that the raspberry pi costs you a lot uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 might cost uh, around 35 to 40 dollars um, but in Proteus software we can get everything we need uh, we can uh, write the programming also there uh, you don't need another IDE you can design the electrical circuits and run your codes just all, everything in a single app you can get uh, all the libraries if you are doing it uh, in practical then you need to buy all the components, um, sensors, modules, actuators. But in the case of Proteus, you will get everything in this one software. So uh, no more talking. Now let's get started with a very simple project. Uh, for this tutorial series, I am using Proteus Design Suit 8.11. If you need this version of software, just let me know in the comment section. I will give you the link to this software. Uh, so now let's create a new project. Let's name it RPI Tutorial 1. Next, now in the last step, you have to choose the create a firmware project, and from the family, you have to choose here Raspberry Pi and the controller would be Raspberry Pi and as you can see the compiler is Python 3 we are programming this in Python 3 uh, so it's next and finish so you can see here a uh, window will appear uh, the first one is the uh, schematic capture where you will design your electrical circuits uh, and the second one is this uh, source code uh, where you will write the codes necessary to run uh, programs on this uh, controller so now let's bring it into the center 
and uh, in this tutorial we will not uh, do any uh, complex programming stuff um, we will not uh, interface any uh, sensor or actuator or anything we'll just run a simple code and we'll see how the output comes so let's go to source code and let's clean everything that is in here okay so now let's start programming uh, in this case first we need to import the time library uh, if you are coming from Arduino or any microprocessor programming then you know that uh, in that case we use a delay function to freeze the processor for certain time uh, in case of Raspberry Pi we do it using the time library uh, the time library provides us a function named the sleep function uh, using which we can do the same job so we need the time library and we need to define a main function inside the main function we need to create a while loop uh, just like the void loop or uh, while one that we do in AVR or Arduino programming so this loop will run until uh, we, turn, we uh, manually turn the program off so while it's true we just want to show a message let's say it will be hello from Raspberry Pi and after that we want to give her a small delay of one second uh, if you notice that uh, we are giving here the delay in seconds but in case of Arduino or AVR processors we have to provide the delay in milliseconds so uh, we uh, this is more easy to do we just need to give the uh, amount of delay in seconds so we have defined our main function now we need to create an execution point so we are setting the target function equals to the main function and here we will set up a try catch block so that it can deal with errors so for this tutorial I assume that you have the basic idea of uh, Python programming so uh, you may know that why we need to set up the uh, execution point or why we need to use the try accept block uh, so we are just now proceeding uh, with uh, our programming okay so now our code is ready and now we just need to run the simulation let's start the simulation and as you can see that it's animating the simulation is running and you can see that uh, uh, here on the messages section the it is showing us messages every second so if we click on it you can see that there is a message saying hello from raspberry pi and it is coming every second as we defined in our programming uh, so that was all that was so that is all for today i hope you all enjoyed this uh, tutorial and i hope you will follow through the whole series uh, please like share and subscribe Thank you for watching.